Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We are going to be starting off a 5M code lure tutorial thing. So, um, to start off, we're, pr we're pretty much going to go through a few definitions, code structure, the very basic stuff. This is if you're like the first time you're even looking at coding for 5M. So, we'll start off with this episode and you can slowly work through them. There'll be a series of this. And before we start, I am in no way a certified person in Lua, um, or any code, or scripting language, sorry, um, but I do know it, so, you know, give me shit down in the comments for not being certified, go ahead. Anyway, so to kick off today's tutorial, we are going to go through a few definitions. Now, also, before starting this tutorial, I expect that you have a server up and running. This is not a tutorial on how to set up a server. I can do that in a separate video out of this tutorial if you'd like, just throw it down in the comments. But in terms of this tutorial series, I'm not gonna be showing you how to set up a 5M server. We, we already got that running right here, guys. All right, so getting back into it, let's just make this a nice... Good for you, all right. So is it actually still recording? Probably, yes it is, all right. So, to kick it off, we are going to start off some Lua. So, we're going to go through a few definitions. So, a Lua structure, um, there will be a lot of if statements you do, which is legit if. You type if on the page. If you cannot do that, may as well stop the video. Um, so, if you want to do if x then, and x being a variable, we could throw it up here and we can um, x equals true or something like that. So x is going to return as true, so if something here returns true, then it will pass it through. Or if something, you know, there's specific from, say, the, the, um, the native reference, the 5M native reference. If it's something from here, um, probably not CFX stuff, if you scroll down to like here, it's something that will return a true or false. Anyway, so if x, which is true, so if x equals true, then we are going to print, and we can go type whatever in there. And that is an if statement right there. You can also, in if statements, what do I do that for? In an if statement, you can also throw in a nice little else, or an else if. Um, most else ifs, try and make it one word, make it a little bit easier on everyone. Um, else if, not x, then. So if x is not true, then it's gonna print whatever that is. <laughs> we'll just put some stuff in there. So that's a pr that's a basic if function for you. So if if it returns x, which it's going to, because x is true, then it's going to do this. Else, if it's not x, which would have to put false here, then it would come here. Then it's going to print that. So it's pretty pretty basic stuff. Um, it's very much English as well. Um, so that's pretty much that. We'll move down onto functions. So a function, you can make it look something like this, and is dick. Boom, we just made a function. Well, we didn't make it, we haven't finished it yet, but that's a function for you. That's how a function could be set up. And you could also, which I'll get into in a second, is put a local there. If I'm actually looking at what I'm typing, you can put a local and that function will be local to the file. As I said, we'll go through that in a second. Um, so in a function, we could have pretty much move this sort of stuff down into the function. You could really do that. So, um, if x equals true, then it's going to get this. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, not in the best shape at the moment. And if not x, it's going to say denied. Alright, so we'll move this function up. I always like to put functions above everything in 5M coding, so, <coughs> or any coding really nowadays. I always put the functions above, just to make sure it always references it, because in Lua, everything goes down, nothing goes up. 
so when you run this file if you were to put it in a Lua validator which we will do in a second this will run down it's not going to run upside down or up so function and then um, we will return um, a function return and then we can return it as true so if it returns okay so you can do this here we go all right so if this returns true which it is going to um, then it's gonna <coughs> print hello there we go that's not how you spell hello but we get the gist we get it um, and if not is dick and that it's very much the same as the X and then in here we could put another if statement so we could do if X then boom but just this is not necessary at all um, this is not something that's necessary to do at all when you can make it as simple as we had it before but this is just an example of how you could use a function and how it could be structured so that's another structure for you so the structuring I always like to do it like this some people when they're making functions will always put spaces in between the brackets and that I hate doing that personally but it's just it's just how it works for you I guess um, it still runs the same um, if you have multiple things on one line so if we wanted all of this on one line which I don't know why you would do that but it is possible you could put a little simple that there you just put these little colons everywhere and it works it should work at least for memory and that would work perfect there's a whole if statement on one line but we could always put it back down to how we had it like so that would it is a lot more easier to read there but if you're trying to keep everything compact then why not do it just like that right <coughs> So that, that's, a, that's a little bit of structure for you on how it is. That's an if statement. We'll put it back out so it's easy to see. That is an if statement. And with if statements, you're always going to make sure it says end at the bottom to end that if statement. If the if statement's not ended, then if you go and put other code all the way down here, it's going to think that is a part of the if statement, which you don't want to do. So always throw an end. That's why another thing is your structure like this. So have end here and there see that's this end here is in line with that if and the end is in line with function always end a function as well <clears throat> last thing we'll go through we already got variables up here so you could even put we want to cut we want to keep that as true because we're running it down here but you could also do text equals and you can put whatever in there you want and that will return that value so um, then we could return text and that would return this string here this is a string obviously it's in quotes it's a different color this is something that will actually print if I were to put hello here it's gonna think it's a variable so it's gonna try and go up here and find hello which is nowhere there is no <coughs> there is no hello equals something anywhere so it's not gonna work that's why you make it a string, which is putting quotes in our quotes. Doesn't matter if you use these quotes or if you use these quotes, they do the exact same thing in Lua um, as with a lot of other codes they do. Um, but that's pretty much it on basic structures. We'll go into a local, <coughs> what a local is now. So if I were to put local here, this variable here will be local to this file. If I were to put the local inside of this, it will be um, local to this function here. It's not gonna, you can't put x down here. You can't put an else if x down here because it's not gonna know what x is because it's not um, a global sort of thing, it's local. So, you can put it up here and that will be able to read it down here so <coughs> if you want to make it globaler than this you could do that and then you could go into another file like this one here 
and we can make it a little file so it's nice and color coded and then we can do if x and if they're both loaded as client side files or server side files depending on which one <coughs> um it would return but if this if this was a server file and this was a client it wouldn't work we'll come into that at a later date though this is pretty much it for basic structures of what to do um, how to structure code, my way of structuring code at least, as I said before, some people put spaces in between all their brackets like this and they make it all weird, some people do the whole make it all on one line thing, um, which is easy to do, you just need to separate it out if you want to read it better, um, that's about it, Lua runs down, not up, um, events will have client and server events, we'll quickly talk about this, Actually, we'll talk about it later, because I've got that planned for next episode. <coughs> so we have events which we'll go through, which are more of a 5M specific thing. Um, if statements, we got here, we got a function here, we got a variable up here, we got two variables up here, we got a local one, and a global one there. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial, guys. Make sure you keep watching these tutorial videos. Videos will be coming out every week or so, hopefully. So until the next one, I'll see you then. Take care.